Hey guys, I just saw somebody making fun of me, so I thought I'd make fun of myself because it's fun to make fun of yourself. You have to have a sense of humor, of course, about yourself, but then probably really, really, really mean people are going to take anything they can and um, be really, really mean. I was raised by really, really, really mean people. And I've seen some pretty mean people out on these streets, as they say. Um, now I'm gonna be attacked for not believing in snazzy medication, which all comes from Earth. Did you know, back at home, we found these, um, these, these, this box of Nervine um, homeopathic remedies in a little box up where they would hide bodies that were um, escaping from in with the Underground Railroad back in the when the slaves were freed and some of them came up here to hide from who? Who were they hiding from? Who was hot? Oh. Um. And so it was really interesting to get to open up into the inside of this, of um, the house back there. Ooh, Shitsky. Um, which was, it's, it's historical. And it's on the historical walk because it was um, part of history. It's, it's, a, it, it's a big, beautiful house. It's it was built um, by somebody who actually has a California connection. And uh, because you got to go to California to make enough money to pay for your expensively hard to impossible to um, maintain house back in Maine. So I have something in common with that guy. Ooh, it's hot. I don't dash show my old arms. Anyway, so I heard Lisa talk about how Rap wants to let um, Ernie Shell's brother out. This is very scary shit, man. Ernie's fears are real and they're based on reality and he has every reason to be afraid. And I do too. Everybody does. And I learned a lot more about Ernie from listening to Lisa on um, the cri uh, crimes, critters and crazy critters, crazy crimes and critters or something, crimes and crazy critters, which I, I like her channel. She's nice. I like Daisy, Miss Daisy. She's always been nice to me. She's always been nice. She's always like, she's like, she's been very nice. I hope I've seen her be nothing but nice. Um, I think she knows a lot more than she sometimes says because she's afraid legitimately, like everybody else is, legitimately afraid of really, really bad guys. I 100% understand his fear about his brother. I have the same fucking fear. Why do you think I haven't gotten together with him? I'm terrified of the whole thing. It's not funny. He has every reason to be afraid. His fear makes total sense to me. If he was apparently hallucinating or something, thinking his brother was there, you know what? There's like timelines that cross. So those thoughts are in his brother's mind. He's picking up on his brother's thoughts. That's what I think. I know what it's like to have a sibling that you're, like, you're really tie, tight with, turn on you and want to kill you. I have had the same, same experience. We, have, we actually have certain things in common, even though we have absolutely nothing in common. And in some ways we have a lot, we have some things that are big in common. Like the fact that our families, that we feel like we have to run away from these families that um, all turned bad. Why? Because I have drugs and alcohol? I don't know. Hmm? Hmm? Well, maybe. Now, my dad didn't drink, but he went crazy because he went crazy from heavy metals at the boatyard. Look at my messy lips, huh? <laughs> yeah, they are. They, do, they look t very messy. God, Lisa was bashing a Tiffany... who apparently made financial promises or something to um, Ernie and then bailed or something. You know, when you have an autoimmune disease, it's something that you live with for the rest of your life. When I found out that I had, that my uh, doctor that I really trusted, who was trained in Western medicine and Eastern medicine and alternative medicine, and he was from a shaman family, I've worked with two guys who, who are from shaman families um, and who are brilliant healers as well as doctors. 
And uh, both of them have Chinese blood amongst other blood. And one of them is mostly Chinese though. And um, they both use energy medicine in different ways, but I learned from both of them. And both of, are, both of them are also regular trained medical doctors. So they have both training and live in this country, United States of America, which is, has freedom of speech, which we fight for as Americans. That's it. Fight for it or get the fuck out of here. Go to fucking China if you don't want freedom of speech. If you're a sheeple, which I am not. Okay, Americans are not sheeples. They think they are because they've been brainwashed, but now we're supposed to clear it out, okay? So the point about the story of the house back in Maine was the fact that back then they used homeopathy. That was the first original medicine. And um, we've gotten away with it, away from natural medicine, because the Nazis don't want us to know how to heal ourselves. They want to be in control of us with their medication, their fear porn, and their drugging of us, making us think we're sick and that we need their medication to get more sick. That's how the pattern goes, okay? You know, if you haven't figured that out by now, I've tried to tell everybody in every way that I can. I've, I've fought... Oh boy, I, th I fought tooth and nail to keep my mom from unnecessary treatments that would have harmed her. Once my brother took over and my siblings took over, my mother was out of my protection and she got fucking nailed and I watched it every step of the fucking way, even more than my sister who suddenly was taking over, but not really because she was too fucking crazy the whole time and never should, but should have been put in that p responsible position of having to take care of and manage an elderly person when she can barely function on her own. She's acting crazy all the fucking time thinking it was going to cure her, that she was going to rise to the occasion because I rose to the occasion. She did not rise to the occasion. She couldn't She couldn't rise to the occasion. It was a wrong expectation to think she could rise to the occasion when she clearly... I know about mental illness, guys. No one ever mentions bipolar with Ernie, Shell. Um, I know about bipolar. I know about anxiety disorders. I know about depression. I know a lot about those. Schizophrenia, um... Ident dissociative identity disorder I know about. Uh, I know that the super soldiers have been MK Ultra. And that's a whole programming. If you don't know about that, you are way behind the times. But I do recommend watching, um, I watched James Rink last night. And he was, um, he had this guy on who was really interesting, who talks about like the AI version of Earth and then the organic version of Earth and I, that we, the organics, won. And he says that he runs, he, he manages a ship somewhere. I feel like I too manage a, a ship somewhere. It's not important now, but because we're all here on Earth starting from scratch in a way. But I am used to running a whole ship. <laughs> and we all had to find out what it was like to be like the slaves. <laughs> And we found out, all right. Oh, yeah. And, um, and, uh, so. You know, I would really love on a beautiful, nice timeline where I could go and, or get, you know, get Ernie Shell. You know, somebody was uh, talking about he needs, like, someone in charge of him. He's not married. So then somebody was suggesting Xander. And I was like, in the meantime, I don't know if that's a bad idea. Maybe he does He does think Xander. He respects Xander. And I don't think Xander would ever do anything to abuse the, the position. They would never do anything harmful to him. They, they care about him. They love him. They respect him. They also him. They might be pissed at him. But, you know... Ultimately, they would never do anything harmful like drug him or pin him down to a fucking rubber chair and all that shit, right? So I was like, because who does he have? Now, Lisa's like, I'll take him back because she really, because he did well with her in a way. He wasn't always nice perfectly to her, I didn't think. Sometimes, um, you got to sometimes, you know, make make things clear in a fun way if you can. I think it was... A little bit hard there were some things that were hard there because sometimes I think you know I think she was expecting him to have more of sort of like the normal male social skills uh, maybe that maybe he doesn't quite have those all the time because of the way he was raised and I think there's a lot of uh, things that, I'm not going to say what goes on in his family but I'm just sure that there's that there's a lot of 
dark stuff that isn't good for him. I think he needs to get out of the South. I'd love to bring him anywhere but there. I'd love to get him out of there. I really do with, you know, um, but, you, you know, I, how do you hide him from all those people who just want to do anything they can to ruin things, trigger him into the wrong thing? And, uh, you know, but, yeah, no, he's, I understand his fear about his brother. It is absolutely legit, legitimate. His brother has threatened them all, including him many, many times, and the mother too. The brother gets out at some point, okay? And I, 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 oh my God. The fact that they want to get that brother out and put, and it is, he's under a lot of pressure. He has a lot of things to, to be afraid of. I, 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 I get it. He has every right to be terrified. And I, 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 I completely feel the same way. I'm absolutely terrified of all the same things can see that those are real, those are real threats. Those are real things. Those are very legitimate. The guy, he's dealing with a real killer. Is he an assassin himself? Those are killers. Just because you put a fancy word on it doesn't mean they're not. Assassins kill people. They assassinate you. So it's like I've had this long-term disease where I get these flare-ups that are extremely painful and I have to deal with it. And I could be on regular medication every day, even though I don't feel the same pain every day, or I could take emergency medicine for the days I have the fee thing. Now, I really bought into the idea when my doctor said, you know, you're de you need to detox. And if you can just let your body do its job, even though it's painful, you're actually detoxing when your body's going through these things that are actually healing from past episodes of sickness, trauma, medications that got stuck and trapped in your body. There's a whole thing about it. And, um, and you need to detox those things and redo that stuff, which I believed that. I, I, that went in and I'm like, that's it. That's what I believed. I latched onto my idea. The way Ernie Shell la latches onto the blocked means blocked. I don't actually like that idea because I don't like blocking things, but he's latched and I can see that there's no changing that. Like my brother would just latch onto something and there's nothing you can do about it. I don't think it's the right thing. It doesn't mean I don't love Ernie. I still support Ernie. I still want to help Ernie, but I'm not going to blindly, I'm not going to do something I don't really agree with. It's not, I have my reasons for it. I would talk about that. I would, I would explain it. Sometimes I think he's open. I Sometimes he's not. I You know, I'll talk about it in a video maybe. It sounds good and everything, but I don't think in the long run it's the right way to direct the way things go on our new timeline on Earth. Supposedly the greys are gone. The grey aliens. That's a big statement. So if you want to get up to date on a lot of the super soldier stuff, there's all this information from thousands of videos that um, super soldier James Rink does. He has a channel and he interviews all these guys and all these people who travel all over the fucking multiverse. And this one guy was talking about how they sell humans all, they trade humans all over the multiverse because we make great slaves even though sometimes we're argumentative like me. I don't really make a great slave. I'm not, I'm not a good slave. Um, but some people are, you know, like those people that sell their children for the cult leader. They're perfect. That's, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's what they want. People who are willing to do that, sell their own children. because they want to eat those children after they rape and beat those children up. Sorry, but it's the facts that we have to, uh, we have to, when you become aware, it changes. So I'm sorry to bring you this ugly, ugly story, but Candace and Don did a pretty good job of that. I didn't, I wasn't there. 
I did know about these things because I followed Max Spears. And um, he told us all about it, along with other people. He wasn't the only one. Guys, there's thousands of people talking about it. There's people all over this world now talking about it. A lot of them have been targeted individuals. Not everybody survived these programs. Ernie has a lot of trauma for a lot of re real reasons. He was he was shot at by cops. That's why he's afraid of cops. It's legitimate. His fears are legitimate. And then I hear that BK was trying to help him out. Really? How long did that last? Were you really trying to help him out? Really? Oh, I believe you too. Like Jimmy does, I'm sure. Did anybody else believe you that you were really trying to help Ernie out? Really, have you changed your tune on Ernie? Would you lie about such a thing? Like you would lie about whether or not you got Candace's uterus pregnant with your child's sperm? The swimmer, the great swimmer. I'll be back.